Hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of ORM series. In this video, I'm going to start by very basic thing that is how to save data in Django. And there are multiple ways to save data in Django. So a few of them are listed over here. That is dot create method, then save, get or create, bulk create. All these we are going to cover in today's video. So let's get started. I have already checked out my code. Make sure to check out the code and then we are going to do some import so that i can create new endpoints so we have imported two things uh, action and response so let's go ahead and start by creating a endpoint that will help us in saving a new category okay we already know we have default uh, one available because we are using model view set but we are going to create a new one so that you all can learn about it so first we'll uh, cover up the dot create so this is that i'm going to create a new uh, endpoint and that will be uh, called as create data create data this will take in self request then arguments or uh, keyword args since this is a new endpoint uh, we are going to have an action action and uh, i will call it as details as false detail as false because we are not expecting any ids in the url so that's why detail false and the method that i'm going to allow for this one is post so before saving any data we should always validate the data so for validating the data what i'm going to do is get the data from the user that user has passed from the front end in the request and then i'm going to pass into this serializer uh, and it will validate and return me with the data then we are going to use that data to save it so let's uh, first validate the data so uh, that will be by using data equal to self dot serializer class so this is that serializer class that is being accessed over here and we are going to pass in data equal to request dot data so in from the front end data will be passed in request dot data okay and that we are giving to serializer or we are going to pass none now we are going to validate it validate will be data dot is valid this is all django rest framework code so raise underscore exception and i'll give it as true so that if there are any errors it will just raise and return from here it won't proceed now from this data i'm going to extract all the field data so let me check what are the fields that category is expecting it is expecting us with title slug and description so i'm going to extract all these three so let's go here and i will call it as title title will be coming from data dot validated data validated data dot get title okay so now we have title in our hand likewise i'm going to copy and paste and we are going to do for slug so slug also now we have in hand then we are going to do it for description so now we have all the three fields in our hand now we are going to use dot create method to save the data so now let's check the dot create so for that the syntax is model name so model is category then dot objects then dot create okay so over here we have to pass in all the data so like we have title over here right so this category is expecting us with title so i'm going to pass in title so title will be equal to this title okay or maybe yeah this title then comma then second field that is slug slug equal to slug then we have description right so description equal to description so that's it this will actually create the data in the database so let me again explain you all what i have done first is model name that is category then dot object then dot create inside this we have to pass in the data so i want this title field the model to take in this title let me just rename for your convenience so this will be title data so i'm passing title as title data right then we have slug equal to uh, let's just rename this also slug data and then description data so it is like this this will create data in the database now y'all could also do any any order like it doesn't really matter what order y'all follow so i could just pass in description first and then title or uh, slug any any order it really doesn't matter then if y'all are wondering what happens to the id field id field is auto assigned and auto created by 
Django, we don't really have to keep track of ID or like pass ID over here, but you all could do that also. But we are not going to do, we will let Django take care of. Say now that our data is created, we want to return the same data in a serialized way to the user back. Okay, so to do that, uh, Django also provides us with assignment over here. So I could just assign this to a new variable called anything. I have assigned it to obj and then we are going to pass that object to the serializer again so i will copy this and i will pass this object and let's rename this to serializer okay and then we are going to return a response to the user so return response and this will be serializer dot data so it will consist of serialized data and i'm going to pass in status status will be equal to whatever you want i'm going to pass status dot http 201 underscore created and i haven't imported status so let me do that that is from rest framework import status so our first endpoint is ready quickly uh, we have created a new endpoint called as create data we are not expecting any ids in the uh, url but we are expecting it to be post method then we take in the user provided data and pass it to the serializer okay this serializer category serializer then we validate the data if there are any errors it will just return from here then from the validated data we extract title slug and description and we save it into these variables and then we use dot create method uh, to create the data in the database and its syntax is model name dot objects dot create and assign assign the data and then we use the same data to like serialize it and pass it back to the user by using this so let's just test it and i'm going to run my server so python manage dot py run server before that make sure you all have activated your environment and like have done the migrations and since it is in category model so i'm going to go to this and if you check the extra action our newly created endpoint is over here we'll go to this one and get method is not allowed that is correct so let's start by adding one uh, title okay what are the category of blogs okay so let's call this as tech and this will be technology and there we go our first data is created and because it is created that's why it returned uh, like this and 201 status that we have done if you all want to still verify it let's go back to the admin side and we'll verify uh, i don't really think i have created any admin user so let me quickly create the admin user over here and let's run the server go back to here and login yes we'll go to categories and over here you all can see uh, the first category that we created from here is added and saved into database now let's go back over here and we'll start by creating another endpoint and in this one we are going to use dot save okay instead of dot create so so actually you know what i will copy till this much and main logic will write it again the common things i'm going to just copy it okay so i'm going to paste it over here and this will be called as not create data save data because that's what it is going to do uh, again it has taken data passed it to serializer then validated it extracted all this data from the validated data and now we are going to create a new object so the format to dot uh, save is we are going to first uh, create an object of the model so obj is equal to category this is the model and then assign the data so obj dot title will be equal to this title that we got the data then likewise i'm going to just copy and paste twice then slug data and this will be slug field then we have description field and description field will be taking description data and then we are going to do object dot save and open close bracket and that's it so quickly uh, i have created a new object of category model then from the category model i'm taking title and assigning this data then slug with this data and description with this and then once i have completed the assignment i'm going to just 
call the save method on that object so this is how data is created by using save method then i'm going to copy the serializer part and the response part okay so after this we are going to serialize the data and return it as a response let's save and check it out we'll go back to the category list and save data and let's call this as cars and here we go we are returned with the new data and let's go to the admin side refresh this one and as we can see a new object is created and that's how it is done now we are going to cover the get or create okay so in this one we are going to check whether the title of this one say already exists and also the slug if it does not exist then create a new one so for that y'all could use actually dot filter and check whether these uh, data with this exist or not and if it does not then like create a new data but that will be not really the django way of doing so so for that django has already provided us with a method called as get or create and we are going to use that now so let's go to the code and again i'm going to copy paste uh, this data please go ahead and you all also copy paste it so that we can do it quickly and i'm going to call this endpoint as get or create data okay and we have all these uh, validations then we are going to check title and slug data i'm going to remove the description because we are not checking description in this one and then we are going to uh, do the get or create so the format uh, or the syntax is model name dot objects dot get or create and that's it and in this we have to pass in the data so i will say title is equal to title data so that means get or create object whose title is this if it exists then get it or else create it and same will go for slug and slug will be slug data so this means again model name that is category dot objects dot get or create and in this we pass in whatever data we want to like fetch or create it so over here i want uh, to get data that has title equal to this uh, title provided by the user and slug equal to this slug provided by the user if it does not exist then create a new one that's what it means and this will return us with two things first of all object and then there will be one more thing that is is update and uh, so that's why i'm assigning it to underscore so that i don't really want to use it that's why now after this we will return this one so that also we are going to do copy and paste so now let's save and we'll go to the browser again i'm going to duplicate this and let's go to get or create data and we have reached now let's say third one is related to planets so since this data did not exist in database so it created a new data that is id number three and if we go to admin side categories and a third that is new id uh, new data is created and if we go back to this one and say let's refresh okay uh, not refresh enter this one and say we are going to use the old one okay so cars cars i'm going to pass and this is also cars so i'm going to pass this one and i'm going to click on post please note this is get or create data method endpoint and if you click on this one if you notice the id is 2 and and not id is 4 that is django went and fetched the data that had title as car and slug also as car and returned me with that data and if you go to the admin side and refresh you can see only there are three objects only and not fourth one and if you notice the cars had id of 2 and also in previous uh, like section uh, car said id 2 so it has returned me with the same id and data so that was about get or create now we are going to check the fourth one that is bulk create okay so user passes on multiple data at a time and then he wants to create all of them together so for that we could actually like go back to this one create data or any any one of them okay and then put this inside the for loop and pass the new data every time but that will be actually not very efficient 
and it uh, say if we had thousand of data then it would be like hitting database thousand times so we don't really want to do that um, so for that django has provided another way of doing so and for that we are going to just copy this one this endpoint and I go down and paste it. I'm going to rename this to bulk create bulk create bulk create data and then everything is fine. Not really. We are going to pass in many as true because user will be passing multiple data over here. So that's why we need many as true and then data will be a list. So now all these things will change. So now that our data is list, let's iterate over the list. Okay, so for row in data dot validated data, I will create a new empty list over here. So I will call it as new data and it will be empty. And then in the for loop, we are going to populate this one. Okay, so I will just do this append i'm going to append all data in this one okay so now what i'm going to append so now this becomes really interesting uh, because this is a new format like new way okay so i'm going to put in the model name over here that is category model then i'm going to open close the bracket and i'm going to pass in the data so data will be title equal to and since it is uh, we are iterating over all the validated data so it will come from row and row of title so this is user provided data that we are assigning to title in this category model okay so likewise we are going to do for slug and description so let me copy this slug and description okay so we have our new data populated in a format this way so after the for loop ends i'm going to first of all check if new data has any data so if data this means if there are any data then i'm going to do is model name that is uh, category dot objects dot bulk create okay bulk create what new data and this will save all the objects at once without hitting database multiple times so again i have taken all the data from the user in this data variable validated them and then i'm iterating over all the validated data then i'm appending it to a new new list uh, in this particular format whereby my model is there model name is there then i'm assigning all the fields with its data in append and appending that to this new list after the for loop ends i check uh, if this new data that is new list has data or not and if it has data then i do model name that is category dot objects dot bulk create okay so this is important bulk create and pass in the list and it will create all the data in one go and i'm going to reassign this to new data and uh, over here in the class i'm going to pass the new data and i think many no let's let's check it like this okay and this will be returned uh you know what when uh, when we have multiple data created we don't really return the data uh, to the user okay so i'm not going to do this i'm going to remove that serializer part and over here i'm going to just say that successfully created data okay so this is done let's check it out so for this one i'm not going to go to the browser but i'm going to go to thunder client okay and collection let me check this one this is lesson one and in this bulk create is there so i have already created this one uh, let me zoom out once and we'll try to do this i'm going to create a new request call it as bulk create to and there won't be anything in headers everything in body so we are expected a list and list should have objects okay so i'm going to pass two objects right now and what will those object consist of object will consist of these data okay so if i go to raw data uh, this is how the format is so i'm going to copy paste it over here so first one and then second one okay and then we'll populate this okay so let me check what data did i create previously it was bulk create three so i will call this as bulk create one then i'm going to copy and paste it over here it will be bulk underscore create underscore one 
and some description related to bulk create one okay done then bulk create two then bulk create underscore two and i'm going to just copy this and paste it over here so now uh, let me format this properly okay so we are going to pass list list of objects or list of dictionaries you can say uh, and that will consist of all the data that model requires i am passing these two and uh, i have this will be a post request and i have to put in the address right so we'll go to the chrome and we'll extract the uh, uh, url from here and this is a new one that is bulk create data and this will be our url so i'm going to pass over here save and click on send we got successfully created data and let's check what happened in the browser if we go to uh, let's go to the list first so category list and as you all can see over here uh, like one uh, this is the one data and this is the other data that i had passed from here and both of them are created over here and the same we can confirm from the admin side so the latest one that is fifth and fourth object are those objects so that's it guys for this video in this video we have seen multiple ways of saving data using django orm into models in the next video we are going to cover the m to m that is many to many relationship data saving so make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and share See you in the next one.